Super Bowl. She was saving she, herself. She Super was Bowl, saving. Right? Well, maybe, but <laughs> she came out essentially to reporters to talk about her halftime show, and she did something actually kind of cool. Listen. And the home of the brave, the brave. Okay, you can sing live, Beyonce. We get it. <laughs> All right, she was stealing headlines. Remember that. Then essentially, she lip synced and then she cheated people out of uh, a, a live performance. And uh, she insisted that she was going to be performing live at the halftime. And that's a big deal, by the way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, the halftime show is a big part of the Super Bowl, as are all the ads that you see on television, which uh, companies spend an absolute fortune on. And of course, then there's the game itself. So there's something for everyone with the Super Bowl, isn't there? But listen, even very accomplished singers say if you're going to sing live at the halftime Super Bowl or an inauguration or a big event where it's cool, where it's windy, where you're not sure everything is going to go great. When you have a billion people watching you, it doesn't matter how good a singer you are, a lot of people will choose, like Beyonce did on Inauguration Day, not to risk it. So it is a risk. She is taking a risk, in a way. Well, yeah, but... And she's now had to come out and admit it, which I don't think she was too proud about, but there you go. She, she came up with a quote that said she's a, an absolute professional, and she practices until her feet lead. Uh, she we, did say, essentially, that uh, for the inauguration, she didn't have enough time to practice yeah. with the band. But that, so that quote one of the issues. made me pay attention. Why, why would your feet bleed when you're practicing as a singer? That would be like Colin Kaepernick, the quarterback, <laughs> saying, I practice until my tonsils hurt. I don't get it. I don't know. Here you go, at Holly.